In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite way to slow down aggressive catches in Madden 23. It's really my favorite base defense against anything compression, bunch. Uh, this is becoming one of my favorite uh, calls in the game because it slows down uh, C routes. It also slows down corner routes, which we're going to show you uh, in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to get my full nickel over defensive ebook, I still think nickel over is the most dominant defense this year. Uh, we have a complete defensive ebook, not only on nickel over, but also on how to run match coverage within this formation. You can get that full defensive ebook by joining our Patreon for just 10 bucks. Um, you're going to get access to all of our ebooks. We have 12 uh, offensive and defensive ebooks out. We just released a major update to one of our ebooks today. You also get access to all those updates as well. So if you want to check all that stuff out, again, the link is in the description. It's only $10 to sign up. And again, like I said, it gets you access to everything. Now, how I like to defend bunch right now and really any compression set is with LB Blitz 1. The reason why is because with LB Blitz 1, um, you're going to get better alignment. You're going to get better coverage players on coverage players. And it's going to allow you to adjust really, really well. Um, now, what I also like to do is turn auto flip off. And the reason why is because then I can put an inside shade here. And then I can also put an inside shade here. So I can put my best coverage players in the best position to play coverage, right? So we're going to come out in LB Blitz 1. You're going to notice here that with when I turn auto flip off, the same two players are guarding their tight end and their slot receiver, which in most offenses are the most important receiver. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out, we're going to pinch our defense. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy over the center, as you can see right here. Now, from here, we're going to kind of act like we're running our standard blitz, which if you, if you want to blitz your linebackers, you'll be able to guarantee that somebody's going to come in free, if not two people. As you can see right there, we're going to get really good pressure. Nickel over is really good at getting pressure, right? Just pinch your defense, blitz your linebackers, and the rest is basically history in this formation. You're going to get some type of heat, right? There's ways to improve this pressure, but this is just a great base rush. Now, the next thing we can do, though, is that a lot of people know by now that one of the best ways to attack um, cover zero style of defenses, like the one that I'm running, is essentially um, to throw some type of aggressive catch on the outside, as you see right there, throw an aggressive catch, right? Throw a one-on-one -on -one ball, throw a C route, uh, you know, throw something on the outside and basically take advantage of the fact that we're going to isolate our outside corners on your big body receivers. And you can do these ad catches. We showed you how to do this earlier today. So how do you combat it? Well, my favorite thing to do is this. We're going to outside third both of our corners on the outside. So you see this is what they look like. But then what we're going to do and this is probably my favorite coverage defense right now, we're going to man up those linebackers on those outside receivers. So as you see right here, they're going to have inside leverage to take away the post, and then the outside thirds are going to have outside leverage to take away anything on the outside. And then what I like to do is drop a bluff blitz on one of my defensive linemen. Typically, if the running back goes on a route, they'll guard him. And what you'll notice is this is a really, really powerful coverage for any type of ag catch and also for majority of the popular routes um, that you're seeing right now currently in the Man 23 meta uh, that we've been watching and what we've been playing through. So, you know, again, this is a really simple coverage defense and you can stand right here if you want. You could stand down here so you get a little better, uh, you know, peel off here at the back, kind of help him and then you can work back here. But notice that these big time routes, they're just double teamed. Now, let's say that I want to run that route that I was showing you earlier with the ag on the play verticals. I'll show you uh, how this coverage defense is uh, really equipped to handle that. So to illustrate, I'm just going to drop this guy in the zone. But I just want you to watch the right side. So you'll see here, I'm going to try to throw that ag. And now there's two people right there that could potentially be intercepted. The best chance they actually have at being able to throw this is to do something like this. To basically throw the ball right on the cut or right on the snap so you'll see here just to throw the ball out here quick and take their four to five yards which is really all that they're going to be able to get so as you see here it's real simple now um, I want to show you why this is also a really really good defense for defending any type of corner route that you might get so let's say that we run a corner route to our slot we do something like this 
you're going to see here that this outside third, because we have that streak route manned up, that outside third is in perfect position uh, to be able to defend any kind of corner route from the bunch uh, receivers. And we'll show it to you again here, uh, and we'll again drop the defensive end. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and motion this guy to the outside, and then you'll see right here that even with outside motion, because of our man coverage, now this one was a little bit more open. I think we got a little bit more uh, caught in the mud on that. But this also allows your slot corner, which we'll show you right here, your slot corner is now in a really, really good position to be able to handle um, some, of the, some of the stuff that we're going to be able to uh, you know, take away here. So you see right here, we give them something like this. You'll see this outside guy. Now, he, he's getting just kind of beat or uh, beat off the jam more than anything. And an easy way, again, remember, this is an inside shade guy in butt. So you got to understand his, his man coverage is going to be significantly better. But I'm going to go ahead and back him off just so that we're not getting any kind of, like, super press wins. And then what you'll see here is even when we motion out a third, um, it can make it really difficult. So you'll see here, he's going to play really good leverage. The linebacker even helps there. And then that's more of a speed thing of being able to close on the football and be able to make a play. Now, another one of the most popular routes in the game right now is this outside C route to the number one receiver. What you'll see here on the left is if I try to throw this C route, there's really no window um, to be able to throw this. So what your opponent's going to think is, well, they're going to think, well, he's just putting an outside third there, so I'm going to have inside leverage uh, to be able to beat the coverage to the inside. And again, with this simple formula, you're going to see here that the slant is cross man from the inside. So it's going to be a tight throw, and obviously your user is, of course, going to be there to help out. Where this probably shows more than anything else is in the situation where there might be like a skinny post. So um, you know, just to illustrate here, here's a skinny post backside. Just imagine here, you see, see how that's double coverage to the post. Again, my linebacker is going to have a little better speed and mutt because it's going to be a little better player. Um, but a lot of times you're able to take away stuff like this. This is also really good for mesh posts. Um, any kind of in-breaking patterns, you're bracketing the outside receivers and then you're leveraging the power of your inside shade to essentially cover the inside receivers. So let's say we get a concept, um, you know, this is like a kind of like a mesh post style concept, something that looks like this. You'll see the C route and get the proper C route out here. And then you'll notice that this post route is inside leverage. So he's throwing right into our hands. And it's really difficult to beat this coverage. This is my favorite coverage defense in the game right now. It's real simple, real effective. Try it out. And then the beauty of this is we can, if we want to, we can just play. So once we start to establish they can't throw corner routes, they can't throw outside routes, all that stuff, then we can just send pressure. You know, because they're not going to have time to be able to hit everything. So this is a great little defense. I think it really takes advantage of what this formation does well. In the fact that it can disguise man zone well, blitz heavy. So use this to slow down bunch. It's also really, really good for any kind of compression set that you might be facing. If you guys want to learn the rest of the defensive ebook, we're going to be updating it this week. Make sure you're in the nickel over Patreon membership. Get access to everything. Link is in the description if you want to sign up for the Patreon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.